So it's Tuesday, and yes, I look like a mess. I took a shower, but I promised I look cuter today, and that's actually why this vlog started. So I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I really like my outfit, and it would be a shame if it would go to waste. I feel like these pants are like a little bit too tight on my waist because I have a little bit of a stomach, but they're so, so cute. It's like corduroy, and it's like rust orange. And then I'm wearing this like cami over the t-shirt. Guys think that I'm wearing my bra on the outside instead of the inside. Love, Love that, that for me. me. This is actually fashionable to some people. Um, Maybe not to me though. And then I'm wearing my glasses because I'm too lazy to do my makeup and I need to study today. So I'm going for comfort. And I'm also working out today, so I don't want to wear that much makeup. But I did do my eyebrows as usual. And then I have my son earrings woo and a scrunchie that kind of matches my pants but are a little bit more red today was a blazing three degrees celsius outside today i enjoyed not wearing my winter coat and just wearing a denim jacket and that was amazing whoa basically it's been a couple a couple degrees above zero lately and so that means it's been a little bit warm but then also that means the snow is melting but then also literally a couple days earlier back in like thursday and friday so it's tuesday right now as i mentioned before it was snowing we had a snowstorm the temperature dropped to like negative 11 and so yesterday the sidewalks were hell because everything had melted earlier last week and then everything froze like later last or yeah later last week and yesterday the sidewalk was either frozen ice that you would slip on or puddles at least today because it was warmer it was just a lot a shit ton of puddles everywhere i hate this like the sewage system here is i don't know if it's sewage system is it the sewage system the draining system drainage system kind of sucks there's puddles everywhere but yo bloodstones got me not sponsored very expensive shoes but totally worth it so most mornings because where i work is literally just around a corner from a tim hortons someone who's working in the morning is going to do a tim's run and today that happened to be me uh could i have a large iced coffee and then a medium double double so I went to go buy a couple of coffees of various forms for my coworkers, and then I fucked up on one of the drinks. So then I had to go back, buy a third drink, and then I took the fucked up drink because it was just an iced coffee and I love iced coffee. So three degrees, can't drink those hot drinks. You're gonna get too hot. So you gotta go get those iced drinks. What am I fucking saying? Okay, ignore me. So today I spent my afternoon sitting as a standby supervisor at the restaurant where I work. So I'm the front of house supervisor and usually when I'm doing that, I'm a server as well. But then today was this weird special circumstance that I'm not even going to try to explain because it doesn't really matter. Basically, I had to just sit there, study, be in the restaurant in case people needed my supervision. I feel really pretentious saying that I'm the supervisor and even more pretentious because I was called the supervisor even though I was literally sitting doing nothing just on my computer the whole time. But then like if literally a Karen came and said, hey, I need to go speak to whoever's in charge or whatever shit, that's me. And it literally happened today. Like someone wanted to make this reservation. It was a weird reservation. And so then I had to talk to them. And then it was literally like, oh, hey, she's a supervisor. Go talk to her. And I was just like, hi. hi. <laughs> right now it's reading week. And then I guess like coronavirus is like freaking people out. I don't know. It's been so slow lately in the restaurant. So I have the pleasure of asking people if they want to be let off early so that the business can save money by not paying for people to stand around and do nothing. Well, instead, they could probably study or do something better with their lives. You know, it's a win-win situation usually, so I deal with stuff like that. And then also I give people idling tasks to do uh, when it's hella slow, like today, as I said. Yeah, you wipe them windows. <laughs> so I did some studying, but 
because I'm, you know, really not in the mood to study. Like I literally overwork myself at work at this restaurant so that I have an excuse not to study and it's a problem. But we're moving on. As a study break, I went to go down to the kitchen and I was playing around with um, trying to improve one of our dessert dishes and like the presentation of it that involves liquid nitrogen. I was doing that for about an hour, playing around in the kitchen with liquid nitrogen and bowls. <laughs> so I went, I go back upstairs, but it wasn't too long before I was kind of bored again from studying. I actually did get the thing that I wanted to get done finished today. I did want to do other things. I'm probably going to do other things after I film this video. So yeah, I did finish my reading on lucid dreams. Super interesting stuff. This is a side note, but I have, I get lucid dreams quite often and I didn't realize until a couple years ago that people don't realize that they're dreaming when they're dreaming, but it happens to me a lot and I kind of want to, I guess, enhance my proficiency in lucid dreaming. Maybe I can put that on my resume. That could be like my cool hidden talent. Kind of quirky, kind of makes me like mysterious and cool. I don't know, maybe I'm like summoning demons while I'm dreaming and that's why I can, I can, you know, control my dreams or whatever. But anyway, I'm doing a paper on lucid dreams. So at this restaurant that I work in, we sell bubble tea and we pride ourselves in making your own cane sugar, squeezing our own lemons for our lemonade, making our brown sugar flavoring, brew our own tea, all that shit, all natural. Traditionally, the sugar that we use, the sugar syrup, is melted, like caramelized and made and melted by guys. And that's because of... Um, they think girls are pussies. So for the past few days, all the guys have been making a big deal about making brown sugar syrup because we've been low on brown sugar syrup for the past few days and nobody wants to make it because for some reason it's just an ass thing to, to do. And I was just like, fuck it guys, like teach me how to make the brown sugar. I, don't, I just wanna help out and I feel bad that the guys always get stuck doing this thing that they don't want to do and i don't know i feel like it's not as bad as i thought it would be um but i was wrong <laughs> how is she doing coach june not bad go, you want to help go go you have to scrape the bottom <laughs> my arms hurt half of me was like freaking out because i felt like i was way too weak and i was gonna wreck the sugar no And then I would have wasted all of this inventory and all of this sugar and all of this energy Why did I ask to, do this? to like just wreck it and burn it and it seemed so fragile and like and then also I was so like a tiny bit too short so I couldn't get like that leverage that I needed to like apparently cane sugar apparently that's way easier to make so I'll try that but fuck brown sugar like I get it I get it now Okay, they literally told me that that was going to be my arm workout and then everybody there knew that me and Flavi, we were going to the gym to work out. So yeah, I did not work on my arms. We were working on our abs and our legs. We did like these abs and butt workout. We were literally flopping like a fish, especially me, because I am weak as fuck. I also did some cardio, which is actually really nice. My legs were like jelly. Like everything below my waist was just barely functioning. And so I walked home in the pouring rain, super sweaty, and I came home as a blob. I'm soaking wet. And went straight into the shower. <laughs> That's why I look like this. And now you've caught up. That's basically my day. And now I'm gonna go study a little bit more and uh, try to be a little bit more productive, try to face my responsibilities, face all of the problems I've been avoiding by working too much. And I'll see you next time. Peace.